characterization. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, what will rupees 500 amounts to in 10 years after its deposit in a bank which pays annual interest rate of 10% compounded annually? Now begin with the solution. Let P be the principal R be the rate of interest per annum and N be number of years. will be P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power 1 that is P into 1 plus R by 100. Now amount at the end of second year will be P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power 2. And similarly, amount at the end of third year will be P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power 3. We can see that principal that is P. Then amount at the end of first year that is P into 1 plus R by 100. Then amount at the end of second year that is P into 1 plus R by 100 whole square. Then Amount at the end of third year, that is P into 1 plus R by 100 whole Q and so on, they form a GP. Now here in this question, we have to find that what will rupees 500 amounts to in 10 years. Now that means we have to find 11th term of this GP. We know that general term of a GP is given by A into R to the power N minus 1. Now here, the first term that is A is equal to P and common ratio that is R is equal to 1 plus R by 100. So, nth term is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power n minus 1. As we have to find the 11 term, therefore n is equal to 11 and thus t11 is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power 11 minus 1. We are given that principal that is p is equal to rupees 500 and rate of interest is equal to 10%. So, this is equal to 500 into 1 plus 10 by 100 to the power 10. This is equal to 500 into 1.1 to the power 10. Hence, our required answer is rupees 500 into 1.1 to the power 10. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.